Well, I did not expect to be switching up my rig so soon or subsequently shooting this video after my last one. However, I made a couple discoveries and had a revelation recently and um, wanted to get the changes implemented because it brought me down to one amp rig. Um, you know, if you've seen my other video, I had two amp system and a MIDI switching uh, topology around those two amps where I could ABY between them and um, switch any of the channels just by hitting one stop here. It was really great. I mean, nothing better than having your two favorite tube amps behind you on stage blaring away. But it came with a cost. It um, w took more time to set up and adjust the volumes between all the channels. And, um, you know, this way I'm basically setting up one amp now with a, you know, one volume control. And um, what's basically allowed me to do this was the discovery of these JFET preamps by AMT. Um, well, I originally got the P2 amp, or the preamp, because it's uh, an emulation of the 5150 preamp, and then I was using a 5150, and I wanted to see how close it could come to, um, you know, mimicking that amp, and boy, did it come close. I mean, it was virtually indistinguishable uh, when running into the power section of the 5150. And that's really how they're best used, by the way. They're, they they should be run into the power section of an amp. As as distortion pedals in front of the amp, they're as good as any other distortion pedal, but they really shine when you use them as preamps. So, um, started getting me thinking, you know, maybe I can just get rid of my 5150 and integrate the, uh, the P2 pedal into my um, Vox system. Uh, and I started investigating other preamps that the company made and I got this V1 which is an AC30 preamp uh, and then um, I got the O2 which is an orange preamp probably based on a rocker verb or something like that uh, and then I had a revelation that I could run these into the power section of my AC30 and also take the AC30 clean preamp externalize that and switch between everything using the bypass looper and that's what's happening here. I have four core sounds. I have the clean channel of the AC30. I have the V1 providing a AC30 style crunch. The O2 is my uh, medium channel, my medium gain. And uh, the P2 is my higher gain. So uh, down here on the pedal board, I have it set up just like a channel switching amp. So those core sounds are set for these four buttons right here. And um, they're mutually exclusive because you never really want two preamps on at the same time. I'll do a quick audio demo now of those sounds. Out in front of the channels, I have three boost pedals. Uh, they, they provide, you know, a little bit of a different flavor to each channel. Um, they bump them up into a higher gain territory, some of them. Uh, the CAE boost is a clean boost. It affects the, uh, the sound the least. Um, it just provides more signal into the preamp. The luxury drive is a little bit of a dirty boost. Um, and it gives a fuller sound, uh, more bottom in. Um, it just, it seems like it just gives more of everything. And the Soul Food is a Klon clone, which I use as a treble boost uh, and add a, adds a touch of gain as well. 
I control all those from these three switches here. So I just kick them on based on what the song needs or program them into my presets. Here's a new addition to my board, uh, the Knockout Pedal by Electro Harmonics. I'll probably do a more in-depth video of this at some point. Um, its main goal is to change the characteristic of your pickup. So I use it to take the humbuckers and turn them into more of a single coil sound, just so I can save having to switch guitars between songs sometimes. Uh, the only other thing left to cover here is this little amazing filter box built by yours truly. It's just a simple high-pass filter. It's passive. It's used to tighten up the bass end of the uh, P2 running into the Vox power amp. That's because the power amp for the 5150 is pretty tight. It, it doesn't have a lot of loose bass. And running the P2 into something like a Vox power amp like I'm doing here, it helps to just have, you know, a dial to turn that tightens up the bass. And that's what that does.